eagles and we always fly high. We are all American in every way. We are true to our colors, red, white, and blue. We prove it every day. P R I D E R E S P C T. We mean every word we say. We stand the test. We Good morning, Good morning, Eagles. Eagles. Welcome to the Eagles Business Morning Show. I am Miss Jenkins, the very, very proud principal of South Columbus Elementary School. And I am Miss Griffin, the very, very blessed assistant principal of South Columbus Elementary School. And she's whispering, and I'm not sure why, but that's okay. Today is Friday, April 9th, 2021, and it is a great day at South Columbus, and it is probably not the best weather for Miss Griffin, but I'll let her tell you about it. Yes, I'm trying to just visualize something else, but mm -hmm. um, it is going to be s not sunny, no. cloudy all day today. We no. have a high percent chance of rain, so it's more than likely going to rain, mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of humid out. And I believe tomorrow, the weekend, Saturday, will be no. about the same. I think it's wash, rinse, and repeat all weekend. Yes, but it's okay. Um, because? It's always sunny here at South Columbus Elementary School. Hashtag facts. Yes. <laughs> um, I did let you do weather for two days, so you're good, right? I am good. Because clearly can. yesterday you were bothered by that. I was, that's, but that's you, okay. you can proceed with the lunch. Now. Yeah. Okay, well... In case you were wondering what we're having for lunch today, it is going to be a very delicious lunch with pizza, seasoned corn, fruits, and milk. And as always, teachers, don't forget to get your lunch counts in by 9 a.m. so that Miss Bigelow can prepare adequately. And if you're a virtual student or parent watching, don't forget that we serve grab-and-go lunch from 11 to 11.45 on the South Lumpkin side of the building. And what's included is breakfast for the next day, so please support our school nutrition program. Yum, yum. Mm -hmm. And today's theme it is, is dun, 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 dun. Fun Fact Friday. Yay. All right, so keeping with our theme of Mother Earth, Earth Day. Um, mm -hmm. So have you ever wondered where our trash goes? Yes. Yes, I have. And there are some concerns. Yes, there are some big concerns about, about it. Our earth. Well, mm -hmm. um, where our trash goes, it goes to this thing called a landfill. Right. This is what a landfill looks like. Gross. Right? And so, yes, we need a landfill because the trash has to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. there, are, uh, landfills also cause a huge problem to our environment. Because the trash, th it takes years upon years mm -hmm. for this um, trash to decompose. And so what happens is in the landfill, it's like a, a big dumping ground. And um, there's a cap to a landfill, like something, 30-something years or something like that, depending on where oh. it's at. And so when it reaches its capacity, then they cover it up mm -hmm. and then they use it for use that land for something else uh-huh and then they move on to another landfill but um a lot of the things that we use or we send to the trash can are like household items like um leftover food um bottles uh plastics cardboards and those things take a very very long time to decompose mm -hmm. plastic bottles um the the water bottles and such those things it's estimated that they take 450 years to decompose so wow. landfills continue to affect you know generations upon generations so that's why we have things like earth day where we focus on the importance of preserving our environment okay. doing the best that we can do of course again we do need landfills there is trash it's got to go somewhere mm -hmm. but we have to take personal responsibility in trying to send less to these 
landfills. So one of the things that we use often are plastic bottles and those things can um, be uh, recycled into many, many things. So again, keeping in line with our Earth Day and um, our ag education that we try to do here at the school and our gardening and things. Here are some ideas that you can do for um, recycling water oh, bottles. Oh, yeah. You can <laughs> use them as planters. Oh, so okay. you are also helping in the cause and also giving back to the earth by using them as planters. And maybe before this month is over, Ms. Jenkins and I can, you know, do one of these on that air. That one is adorable. Mm -hmm. You can put like um, herbs in it. I like that. that. Yeah. And okay. don't forget the three R's. Yes. Recycle. Recycle. Reuse. Reuse. reuse and reduce. I hope those were the three. Those were the three. They weren't. Somebody comment in the uh, comment section and tell us what the three and R's are. And correct it. But those are. Those are the three <laughs> R's. All righty. Um, but we do have special guests today, right? We do. And they are. And we want to talk about our garden initiative at the school. So Fridays now are considered Ag Ed Fridays, and we would like you to come outside and help us plant our garden. However, due to the rain, we are postponing our planting today. Um, and we want to, Tristan, tell them what we want them to do. We want to know what types of fruits and vegetables you want in our school garden. Okay. We try you to draw and create your vision for our school garden. So we are challenging you guys um, to create your version of a school garden, what fruits and vegetables you want to see. Um, draw it, give it to your teacher, and then they will submit it to me and my class, and we will choose some of the um, drawings to mimic our school garden after. So you might have the design for your school garden. So how cool would that be? And here's cool? some examples here of the, there's a flower garden, Ooh. vegetable oh. garden, fruit garden. Those are nice. Mm -hmm. So Tristan, let me ask you, what is your favorite fruit or vegetable? Um, a peach. Peaches. I think it's possible that we can maybe put some peach trees out because in our um, region, this part of Georgia, peaches are very, very fruitful. And we could per perhaps even plant a peach tree or two. So that might be something we could think about. Mm -hmm. Well, thank y'all for coming on the show today. Do y'all mind hanging out with us till we close it out? Not at all. Okay, well, hang out right here and let's get finished. I think um, we do have one birthday today and it is for our very, very um, super energetic fifth grader, Gladys. Happy birthday, Gladys Francisco Martin. I hope your day is amazing and have a great weekend celebrating your birthday. And we also have um, some, some stu two students we'd like to recognize because they received positive office referrals yes. today. Okay. Um, Camden, I guess who's in second grade. Uh, where did the picture go? Um, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Ms. Shriver's class and also DeBear. Um, Elmore from mm -hmm. third grade. Ms. Paredes. Ms. Paredes. Mm -hmm. So thank you to those two students who um, this week received a positive office referral for being Soaring Eagles. We are very proud of them. Continue the good work. And we also would like to end the show with a message from two of our fabulous Soar Ambassadors, Arnetris and Mariana. They have a special message for us about the character word of the month. Character word of the month is positive attitude. Having a positive attitude is important because it helps you think of the bright side of things. And reminds you to always be thankful for what you have even when things don't go your way. So, so remember, remember, be a soaring eagle and always keep a positive attitude. For today's Friday edition of the Eagles Nest News Morning Show. Um, Y'all, we hope you have a great weekend, but please remember. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and watch your distance. And as always, we soar at South Columbus where I am safe, safe I, I am organized, organized I am accountable, and I am respectful. Y'all have a great Fun Fact Friday. Thank you, Tristan and Miss Jordan, for joining us today. And we will see y'all on Monday. It'll be Motivational Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.